we're going to take a look at setting up your homework on Bromcom. So in the app at the bottom you've got your different tabs and homework is one. There are then three sections, outstanding, submitted or marked. And you also have this icon up here for hidden and unhidden homework which we'll go to later. In the outstanding section you have three different states of homework which are shown by the icons on the left hand side. So the ones with a tick are any deadlines that have already passed. If they have the yellow icon that means that they're late and anything with a stopwatch and a tick means it's due soon. So if we open up this homework by clicking on the arrow we can see the description, the teacher that set it, the due date and the submission type and we'll have a look at those now. So there are a few different submission types. Offline submission means you hand in your homework like normal to your teacher. You can click submit to remove it from your list. No file required means that your teacher wants you to complete it maybe online but not on Bromcom. For both of these submission types you can click submit and it will then remove it from your list and put it in the submitted section. No submission required still means you have homework. All you need to do is hand it in next lesson and it will disappear from your list of homework on the due date. If it says online submission, your teacher either needs you to attach a file in Bromcom or they might have selected the wrong option, unfortunately. So what you can do in this case is you can hide the homework from your list once you have completed it. And we'll look at how to do that now. So if you open the homework, there is a little blue button next to status where you can click to hide any homework that's remaining but won't let you submit it for whatever reason. You get a warning, um, you can then proceed or cancel. And now that homework will be put into the hidden section on your app. So if you click that little eye icon, you can see you've got one hidden homework. I have to say, I find the student portal website a lot easier to navigate, particularly if you're on like an iPad or something where you've got a bit more space. You will also find that it's a lot easier to open resources from here if your teachers have added resources to Bromcom although we're recommending realistically Teams is a much better way of sharing resources because it just works a bit better. So in your dashboard, if you scroll down to your homeworks, you've got a lot of red here, but if you click on more for more details, it's laid out in a much easier way. You can see your due dates, you can see all your subjects, and you can then click the pencil icon to view or submit, and then you can also hide homeworks from here as well. Any resources that are attached to these bits of homework are a lot easier to open if you are on the website version.